So this is an update on my solar panels. I've got a 40 watt, 40 watt, another 40 watt, and then a little 10 watt. And then up on the roof, I've got a, or extending from the roof, I've got a 5 watt. Um, the 440, uh, sorry, 340 watts, which come in at 120, come into this 100 amp hour Solar Master battery by Motorlite. Um, I've got a 500 watt inverter hooked up to that. Um, here's my charge controller, so that's fine. Um, the 5 watt panel up there, it doesn't connect to a, a controller or anything like that, it just, uh, it's already got a little module on there that converts it to USB power. So right now, you can see I've got this USB fan plugged in, and if I turn it on, it starts to spin. So um, what I normally do with that is I actually charge this uh, little lithium ion battery, which is 1.7 amp hour, and then I can use that for other things. The 10 watt on the end here, which is this one here, I uh, just wait for it to update with the sun. You see that one there, the little one? That comes in and goes to a seven amp hour battery down here, which then runs my Raspberry Pi. You see that, so it's going, uh, I've got a little 12 volt to 5 volt DC to DC there, uh, and that's powering the Pi. So that that whole 10 watt panel is completely separate. Just runs this battery, which then runs the Pi. Um, let's go back to the main 120 watts. So here's my charge controller, which is going to handle up to 10 amps. If I just quickly, this is a switch to disconnect the panel, so you see charging, no longer charging. And then if we take a measurement, uh, it's kind of hard to do it one hand. So you see, coming off the panels is 14.68 volts. And if we check the open circuit amps, just remove this, right, put that in there. So again, this is disconnected from the charge controller. And we'll just check the open circuit amps. You see we're getting, at the moment, 6.29 amp. And that's uh, um, whatever the voltage was I said a minute ago. I have forgotten already. Okay, let's put that back on. Um, so here's my 100 amp hour battery. Let's check what the, what the voltage is looking like on that. I think it's around 13 point maybe 13.15 but I'm not sure so let's have a look I'll just put that in there and then this one in here uh, da, 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 it's still on there one sec just make sure the connection's okay okay there we go oh, so it's higher than I imagined 13.35 if I disconnect the panels got a truer, there you go, 13.1213, and if I put the panels back on, you see it rises because uh, obviously the panels are putting power in, um, and there you go, that's my, that's my solar setup so far. These two panels were originally at a steeper angle, but I've managed to extend them out and put them flatter. Um, ideally they would be you know on the roof or they would at least be out further but um, unfortunately this is the best I can do. This panel is also going to be laid flatter so it's more in line with these which means it gets a little bit more sun each day plus it's at a better angle for the sun.